Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone and Arena. I'm in my name's Lumen and right now jumping into game two and onwards with this decent looking mage deck. I mean, I always say the decks I create look decent because at the time they always look decent to me until you guys start picking them apart. Thanks for that. But seriously, thanks for that. It actually helps out <laughs> quite a lot. I think we're going to do okay. I really do. I, I have high hopes, raw chances with this mage deck. I mean, we are playing mage. That by default gives us a nice high Jane, win percentage or chance. I must protect the wild. You asked for it. Druid. Swipe, 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 swipe. Now, I don't want to keep that in the opening hand. This is really good. I mean, that's a turn one play if I want it to be. Ooh, nice. Smooth as butter. Oh, no, but it's not smooth as butter. Wait. Because I need to pick up a, a zombie jar. Then it's smooth as butter. Because, like, I have no turn... To play. Thing is, do I want to give him an opportunity here? A chance to get the first card out? What do druids usually... Well, they could play anything. They could literally play anything. I don't even know. I basically have to choose now between playing something here, like the... Stalker, and then maybe I use the hero ability. Oh, I'll do it. Okay, I'm taking a chance because it gives me hero ability on the next turn that I can use. And the nice thing is that I can leave this dude in stealth. That's pretty good. So if he just hero abilities now, then I'm in amazing. There you go! In amazing shape because now I can get this off on him. I can still keep board control. Well, something. Presence. Board presence. Not control. I start doing some damage. And then in the next turn, at least. I start popping down slightly bigger threats. And now I wouldn't mind if he used a wrath or something on this. Oh! No. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me. That's tough. That's rough. That's a huge problem. Uh, this is better, right? Because overall it ends up being one more damage than that. So... I'm going down. <laughs> I'm going down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I did not just do that. Oh. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven. That's not even enough. But it's what I'm gonna have to do. Oh. 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 This is better. This is better. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, but in the next turn, I can pop down the four damage on him. So, this is pretty great. The value that he's getting. Oh, <laughs> snap. The value that he got out of this dude is just insane. I hope he's got nothing. Please, just have nothing. Give me that break. Oh, good, good. I mean, he didn't do a single point of damage to my face. Well, other than the one he attacked. Okay, so now, now I can take this back. And I think the best way of doing it is obviously just first attacking into here, see what we draw. Always good seeing what you draw. And then, wait. I can, however, start thinking about getting the Micro Machine buffed up a little. He doesn't seem to have any direct damage, so let's let's go with that. That's good because it kind of dissuades the swipe. I mean, a swipe is still effective. Yeah, he swipes this, he puts one damage over there. It's like, it's done. This is a Flame Strike. I mean, I can't do it yet, but this is a Flame Strike. Okay, so the thinking is, we try remove, we we can pop the shield off, but then I can't play this. I, wa I wanted to use the bomb lobber here, but, ah. Uh. Okay, that's the best play. We're going to protect this little guy. 
just a little bit. I mean, like... One turn, that's all the protection he's getting. If he survives till the next turn, great. Like, absolutely amazing. If he doesn't, it's not, not a problem. Okay, so Flame Strike is going to be super effective here. Super effective. Or not. I mean, in hindsight, I think that was a foolish thing to say. Uh... I, I'm gonna bomb lob. Ooh, do I bomb lob? If I bomb lob. <laughs> bomb lob. If I flame strike, then funny enough, flame strike actually seems to be the best play. Because then the 2 2 pops out, I can kill it with this. Sure, that's left on one life, it's super vulnerable, but the board state has been reset. Alternatively, I bomb lob. It hits this, I attack into there. I've left the 3 3, he has a 2 2. I can still put one damage somewhere. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Honestly, I I think a good move would maybe just be playing the Spectral Knight. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Putting that on there and putting like one damage on one of these. The reason I put one damage on one of them is because... I want to be able to use the boar effectively, or I can just pick it off in the next turn. It depends. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to flame strike yet. Okay. Look, I like this because he's sitting with one card, and look at all my cards. Now I just need something big. Oh, that's big. That's big enough, at least. Now. Yeah, this is... I, I think that's where I wanted it. I mean, I don't know. I think that's where I wanted it. Now, ideally, I want him to play two minions. Like, it would suck if he plays, like, Scenarius or whatever. There, 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 there. Perfect. Perfect. So he's gonna put that there. Flame Strike. Bam. Done. Flame Strike into a Volcanic Drake. I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford that, actually. But I'm going to flame strike Because I've got an- Ooh! Damn! Don't tempt me like that. Nah, I'm going to flame strike. Like, hold on, hold on. Can we- can we set this up? So that'll be two, it'll be four. Uh, I have to kill everything to play the Volcanic Drake, so it's not happening. We're going to flame strike and put this down. Put this down. This is so good. Like, fine, I could potentially heal him for 10, but if he does not clear this all, Cultmaster is gonna reap some pretty serious rewards here. It's done. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, it's done. I'm drawing two cards at least. I mean, <laughs> I kind of hyped that up more than I should have. But I'm drawing two cards at least. Why did he do that? Yeah, okay, we're drawing cards. I'm just trying to see if I want to draw more. Yeah, it seems like I have to. This is amazing. Uh, suck steel, swine! That's, that's it. It's done. He's dead. The, the, the level of control that I've got here is just ridiculous. No, man, no. Don't even bother. So Trogzor goes down and then it's GG. Oh, 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 this is painful. I can see. <laughs> there we go. I didn't get to play Trogzor. Ah, oh, you suck. Oh, man. Look at that. Okay, two wins. Let's let's keep this this pain train rolling. We we seriously we've got this. Until we start playing against the Uthers and the other Jainas, they the, they're the tough ones, right? Are warlocks good? I don't know. I I get unlucky sometimes, <laughs> quite often actually. Oh, you see, thralls they can be really bad. For doom 
hammer. You asked for it. I think we just drop it all. He kept one. Makes me think he's he's got at least something cheapish there. Oh, that is like infinitely better. Turn one zombie chow. Turn two mirror entity or harvest golem. This is great. I mean, ideally for me, he'd totem now. Didn't matter what it is, he'd just totem. And but he kept a card. He kept that card. So you you want to you know assume that it's something. So here, it's kind of a tough choice because that's one. Like this could be really good. The value that I could get from this could be through the roof, but it's risky. Alternatively, I... I could just pick off this one, ping off that one. I think that's probably the safest play. We're, we're playing the long game here. But then again, we're not getting any board... Uh, ...position on that. We're not playing for tempo then. But it's this, it's the safest bet, and it's it's keeping the zombie show alive that one turn longer. Well, however many turns longer. It may have been a mistake though, truly, because like if I had played this and it had killed both of them, that would have been just so good. Don't be the taunter, please. Well, you you could just be the taunter. I think we go with this. I think we should get Mirror Entity out. I just feel like this is the turn. This this right here is the turn where he's going to play something reasonably okay. Turn 4, Rise of the 80s, you know? Mechanical or otherwise. Uh, unbound Elemental. I don't, I don't even know. Like, there could be many, many things that he could play. And he's already played two cheap minions. So, could he even have more? I don't think so. Well, it's possible, but it's unlikely. I would. And now, for him putting that on there, the value is not really that high. He's not healing himself, so... Who cares? That's what I say. Who cares? Play something big. Gimme. Like that. <laughs> oh, he took a chance. He took a chance. Uh... So this is this is very interesting. I he firstly overloaded himself. I can attack face and hope it doesn't attack into this, but if it does attack into this, then what do I lose? Like nothing. Ah Okay. That thanks for that. There we go. He's only got four mana this turn, so. Like, he can use his Hex now, but then, what? This is gonna come out uncontested. Ooh, hoo -hoo, okay. Is that another Overload? I didn't... Yeah, Overload for two. This is great. This is real good. Uh, let's... Let's go with this now. And I want that because it sticks. And then the next turn is it's straight up Ogre. Four mana again. Overload really screws you over. Sometimes. Now the Hex would actually be pretty devastating. Okay, I mean, I can dig it. I can... Oh, you joke. He's like so lucky with that. I was gonna use Arcane Intellect, but I do think that this is better. I 
That's pretty great. They have enough health amongst them that a lightning storm or whatever just it won't be enough. Powering up portals online. Please don't put the board on. Yeah, that's fine. This is actually really good for me. Don't be a taunter. Oh. Okay, okay. Finally. Getting to use the Flame Waker. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, that's where it's going to go anyway. Okay. Uh, that... I mean, I'm going to want to clear, so... Let's keep this full. It's basically just a choice. Which one do I want less damage on? I think that we're just gonna put that there. And this here. And then put that on there. Because like, one damage for a shaman is actually pretty tough to deal with. Sure there are minions and stuff, but like, it's pretty tough to deal- Oh, this is- this is so amazing. Again, V-value is just so insane. Oh, actually, you know what's even better? Is- Because I'm- I'm gonna- yeah, what, what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna put that on there anyway. It's- it's been decided, but I can maybe do some damage before I do that. Wow. Insane. Perfect. This is us not overextending. I mean, Trogs will go down in the next turn just to solidify everything. But I think we got it. Pretty sure we've got it. The light does not describe. Doesn't even matter, I don't need to play any more minions if I don't want to. I mean, that's, that's like pretty solid though. Like, how many secrets do you think you're gonna play against in the arena? And he gets the taunter as well. Uh, this is the best play to get rid of that. Okay, so I should have probably... Yeah, what I should have done was I should probably have... First attacked, killed the little 0-2, because I wanted the damage on there. Oh, that was, that was foolish of me. Uh, it's not the end of the world, though. Let's see what we can do. Do I even care? Thing is, I don't mind getting rid of this now because I've played all my spells. <laughs> the reason I... I do this now is because it's kind of gonna taunt him towards it. He will go for it because he thinks it's huge. Oh wow. That was a, a seriously solid turn for our friend here. Yeah, we go with this then. I would have loved to have played that, but this is a good this is a good choice. There's nothing he can do now, because whatever he does, whatever he plays, Trogza will make something. You see, watch here, it first makes it and then it gets silenced, so it's like, it's kind of bad. That's kind of a win. Nice. So, we are currently 3 and 0 up. I'm impressed. Truly, I am. Not by my skill or anything like that. Just by the luck. The cards that were presented to me. So tell me if your predictions are holding up. Did you think I'd be knocked out by this point? Let me know. Let me know below and check back here soon for more. Most importantly though, happy... Happy Trogzor. Trogzor in the arena. Because he's really working. Happy that.